Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the one merciful, the ever-merciful, and the everlasting curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to Is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, mentioning some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes in his right, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. I am Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, today's episode is Muslim bin Aki's capture by the army of Ubaidullah bin Ziyad. Allah's curses be upon them all. Our respected viewers, Muslim bin Aqil alayhi salam was offered a guarantee of security and he turned himself over and over. However, it became clear immediately that his captors had no intention of guaranteeing his safety and Muslims' eyes were full of tears and then he said, this is the first betrayal so far. One of his captors mocked him for weeping for himself, yet Muslim bin Aqil immediately responded with the following response, I would not weep for myself, nor would I grieve for my own death so far, even though I have not the slightest desire for discretion so far. Rather, I am weeping for Al Hussein bin Ali alayhim salam and the family of Al Hussein. Peace and blessings of God be upon them all so far. Dear viewers, in this episode, among the many events leading to the tragedy of Karbala, there are great lessons for every Shia of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. First so far, we see that time and time again, not only the Imam, but even his emissaries were betrayed by those who appeared at first to be their most enthusiastic supporters and partisans. Many of our narrations so far tell us that we will see something similar to this as well, narrations when the hidden Imam reappears. This is a respected viewers, even among the Shia, there is a difference between Islam and Iman, submission of real faith towards Allah the Almighty. Second of all, our respected viewers, we see that even the Shia themselves may trust the wrong people, even from their own families and thereby betray the Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. Indeed, we must be very careful whom we trust with the secrets of faith. Third of all, and perhaps most importantly, we can learn the behavior of a true Shia through the valiant response of a Muslim who in a foreshadowing of events to come in Karbala fought against overwhelming opposition like Muslim bin Aqil. However, Muslim alayhi salatu wasalam, was able to summon this courage because of this cause for which he was fighting. Thus, our respected viewers, even when he was captured, he wept for himself. And for this Imam alayhi salatu wasalam, the center of Ibn Aqil's spiritual life and his means of approach to Allah Almighty. This event, our respected viewers, in Muslim bin Aqil's life was a test of faith that he passed brilliantly and we ask Allah the Almighty to strengthen us to pass the test of service to our Imam as well, even against overwhelming odds so far. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.